It's one of those topics today. I have my uh, little pina colada. <laughs> That's when you know I don't want to talk about something. But I do, I do want to talk about it. Basically, today's topic is going to be about something that changes as you get older. And that is the topic of closure. I'm going to take this off, actually. Sorry. Costume change. <laughs> From a very young age, we're taught that if we do something wrong, or if we do wrong by someone, we apologise. And you know what? In general, that's a great thing to live by. And I would like to think that I've lived by it most of my life. I know I haven't been perfect with it. But the problem with that is when we're taught that, it's always referring to the immediate fallout. Like maybe you apologise the same day that you've done something wrong, or maybe like a couple of days later, or maybe a week later. But as I've got older and I've made mistakes and wronged people, and as I've been wronged by others, I've realised that the need for closure from others isn't always the most important thing in the world when it comes to your own healing. Like, for example, when I was back in college, so that would have been when I was 16, I think I was 16, I had a falling out with a girl. It was some boy drama. Basically, I broke up with a guy and she got with him. And just for that simple reason, I hated her. We had this big falling out and fortunately, um, we resolved it quite early on, but what if we hadn't? What if we had this falling out? Um, what if we really, really hurt each other and then left it? What if neither of us said sorry, neither of us talked about it, and we just, we naturally, we naturally got over it, we naturally healed ourselves? Say that I woke up today and said to myself, hey, you know what? I, I feel really bad about my part in all of that. That thing that happened 13 years ago. Yeah, yeah, I feel really bad about that and I should apologize because that's what we're taught. Right? When we do something wrong, or when we realise that we've done something wrong, we should go and apologise to that person. But what if so much time has passed that the last thing that that person that you've hurt wants is to hear from you? That's the thing that changes as you get older, in my opinion. The need to hear from people who you've long outgrown, or people that you've healed from. Closure doesn't always come in the form of an apology. Sometimes closure comes from getting yourself over something traumatic. And if I just wanted to pop up like a ghost, you know, 13 years on, just find them on Facebook and go, hey, um, remember me? <laughs> Sorry for the thing I did. Who's to say that that person would want to hear from me? Because I believe that part of growing up and being mature and taking responsibility for things is trying to reverse the role and thinking, would I want to hear from someone that I fell out with 13 years ago? Of course, it all depends on the situation, whether it's family or friends people you don't even really know. There can be this innate need to go back and apologize once you've realized too late that you've wronged someone. But then you have to ask yourself, like, why are you apologizing? Are you apologizing to that person because you woke up and suddenly felt the need to right this wrong? Or is it because you finally feel bad for the thing you did and you need to apologize for your own closure? And in doing that, are you then imposing your presence on someone who has long tried to forget you just so that you can say sorry, therefore bringing up the past again, possibly reopening old wounds? I know that in my past, I haven't always been the perfect person at all. I've made a lot of mistakes and I've hurt a lot of people. I have been a massive bitch to people. I've fallen out with so many people and I've often been so caught up in trying to convince myself that I'm the one that's been wronged and I'm the victim, that I'm not seeing the damage that I'm doing in order to preserve that part of myself. You know, I might be lashing out or, or, or being like coy and nasty or shady or whatever, whatever the term is these days when really I haven't been doing the right thing. And at the same time, I've been wronged as well. I've had all of those same things happen to me. And part of growing up, I believe, is going on this case-by-case -case basis of, okay, so now I've realized that, you know, far too late that I haven't been a very good person to this other human being. Is it right to apologize? By which I mean, of course, we're brought up to believe that apologizing is always the right thing to do. But if your apology is gonna do more harm than good, then it's not the right thing to do, is it? Bringing something up from the past to someone who might have been trying really hard to forget about you, is your presence and your apology actually gonna make them feel better about the whole situation or have they already got over it? and now you're, you're gonna bring it back up again. It's something that comes up in my mind now and again, because Lord knows, like I said, I've, uh, I've had enough fallouts and I've wanted to make amends with people and I've wanted to contact them out the blue and go, hey, so you know this thing that happened like two years ago, I'm sorry for the part that I played in that, but then I realized that 
you know, the whole reason I'm apologizing is because I hurt them in the first place. How is a retroactive apology going to make things better when the damage has already been done and healing has already happened? It's just something that I've been thinking about because there are a lot of people that I've had in my life and let go of or I've pushed them away or I've deflected hurt onto them and I felt like, you know what, I didn't do the right thing in the moment. I should try and make up for that. But like I said, <laughs> if doing that is going to bring the past up, and hurt more people just so that you can feel better about yourself, it may not be the right thing to do. I guess the problem with it is you can't read people's minds, you can't say definitively like, you know, oh, they wouldn't want to hear from me because what, what if they would? What if they do want to hear from you? What if they do still want you to apologize even if it's been years and years? It's a hard one to gauge, I think. And apologizing certainly isn't this really easy thing that they made it out to be when you're a kid. Obviously the ideal situation would be to apologize in the moment or not do wrong in the first place, but as we know that's not always possible. We make mistakes and we don't put our best selves forward all the time, but perhaps sometimes if you've upset someone and you've then let that hurt go on for so long, maybe part of your penance is just accepting that these people are gonna have a negative view of you forever and you're just gonna have to kind of sit in that void because if you are truly sorry, then you wouldn't want any more harm or hurt to happen to that person, especially at your own hand. So if you think being quiet and sinking away into the distance is the best way for that person to move forward, then maybe that kind of is your way of apologizing, even though it's not an apology. <laughs> it's, um, it's a complicated one, in my opinion. I've never found it easy to apologize in the first place, even if something happened like, you know, 10 minutes ago. I've never been good at it. I think I can be very self-assured and I think I have a real problem with showing vulnerability sometimes, but it is something that I'm trying to get better at. I know this is quite a strange video to make, but it's something that I don't really see a lot of people talking about because it's so easy to just fall back on what we're taught as a kid. If you've done wrong, say sorry, but you don't always realize you've done wrong at the time or you don't have the strength to apologize at the time. And then so much time passes that the, the rules change. And if your need to apologize to someone is greater than that person's happiness and well-being, then you might be apologizing for the wrong reasons. Anyway, what a mind fuck. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind sharing with me, let me know in the comments below any sort of situations you've had where you've had a fallout and apologized or not apologized, or whether there have been situations where a fallout has happened years and years in the past, but you still wanted to hear an apology from them. Just, just give me your thoughts on closure, what it means to you. That'll be really appreciated. And until next time, guys, I shall catch you later.